You know, the Lord has impressed on me the need to make a few videos dealing with some of the misconceptions about the Antichrist. Now, these are popular myths that we have all heard, maybe from Hollywood, maybe from traditional teachings. But these myths are not biblical. And what we want to do is see what does the Bible say about these misconceptions. And on this short video, let's look at two of these misconceptions. One misconception about the Antichrist is that he will arise on the world stage as a globalist and not as a nationalist. But the idea that Antichrist will arise as a globalist is not biblical. The Bible says that the Antichrist will begin small and grow in power. Antichrist is described in the book of Daniel as the little horn which grew exceedingly great toward the south, toward the east, and toward the glorious land. Daniel 8, 9. In other words, the Antichrist will rise to power along the same path that almost all ungodly dictators have taken. He will begin locally as a nationalist leader, and then he will make his grab for global power. Daniel 11.23 says, For he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people, which is also translated, he will go up and gain power with a small force of people. In other words, he will initially have the backing of a devoted group of people. And from there, the Antichrist's ambition will move him from being a nationalist leader to being a global ruler. You know, in spite of what we might expect, when we actually look at world history, Antichrist dictators who have an eye on world conquest have almost always emerged as nationalist leaders. Adolf Hitler is a prime example. He was all about Germany first and the supremacy of the German people. He was all about Germany. And then he began his reign of terror. He had a patriotic band of zealot supporters. And these nationalist demagogues like Adolf Hitler begin with a base of support. And then from there, they launch their ambition toward more power, world power. So this misconception that the Antichrist will arise as a globalist is not what the Bible tells us. He will begin small and grow in his outreach toward world power. And that misconception also goes hand in hand with another misconception, and that is that the Antichrist will be loved by everybody. We hear this all the time, but that is a myth that overlooks some things that the Bible tells us about the beast. First of all, the Antichrist will only be loved and worshipped by those who are doomed to take his mark, those who are perishing with him in the lake of fire. So there will be many, many people whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life who will not like him. They will not love him. They will remain faithful to Jesus Christ. So it is to be expected that as he begins his rise to power, the streets would be filled with protesters. It's understandable that a vile person, and the Bible calls the Antichrist a vile person, it's understandable that the rise of the Antichrist would trouble many people because he will be a vile person. And also the Antichrist will not just appear and fulfill all the prophecies in one day. The prophecies will be fulfilled, but over time they won't be fulfilled immediately. So as we have said, the Antichrist will grow in power and influence from a little horn which grew exceedingly great. 
So he will be worshipped by the lost people of the world, but not from the very start. He will win people over as time passes. He will grow in influence over time. So it makes sense that at first, everyone will not love him 